Wow, what is up everybody? Got a really cool video for you. I just wanted to show you a customer's order that they had picked out and then they kind of tweaked it a little bit and added one of our new products, our reef cement. If you guys aren't familiar with our rock seam powder, it's basically our rock crushed up and that allows you to come in and super glue joints in your aquascape and make it look natural as possible, right? Well, now that I got this uh, other product going, I wanted to try it out for this customer. The customer um, was real excited. They wanted to be able to use this new product. So basically, guys, we're going to call this our Reef Cement. It is com comprised of a few components that will not harm your tank. And the coolest thing is it's ready to go. Unlike some of the other cements and stuff that you have out there, if you're not using a special polymer liquid with it, it's not going to be safe for your tank until it's completely cured out, you know, as far as pH and everything. This right here, however, will not do any of that. So, guys, I'm going to put this product up on the site probably in the next week. I'm just waiting for new labels to show up. But let's check out this person's order. I believe this was Cameron. Yep, it was Cameron. They ordered 100 pounds of our medium rock. So we got 50 pounds right in here of their rock. Size that they chose. Got another 50 pounds here. And then they also ordered our flat bottom, uh, semi-natural is what I call it, flat bottom cut shelf rock. And that is over here. They got an assortment here. I'll go ahead and take these out, show you guys these. These are giant pieces. I'll probably end up breaking them in half at least to uh, get them there safely. And then they can figure out exactly what they want to do with them. Look at this one. I don't know if you guys can tell how tall that, that is, but uh, I mean, it's almost up to my knees. Let's see here. Do I have any measurements here? Oh, yeah, I got a tape measure right here. Let's see here. About max I can fit. I believe it's about 18 inches. Yeah, that one's 20. That one's about 19. <laughs> and the last part of their order was 35 pounds of the medium island rock if you guys don't know what the island rock is it's basically any type of rock that we have you know small medium and large and then we cut the bottoms of them that allows you to maybe create some caves maybe you want to uh, create some arches or maybe you want your aquascape to be strong and stable when you go to build off of it. For example, let's say we have uh, this right here on the acrylic bottom or glass bottom of your tank. Then we add our sand into the tank. And now we have a tank that, or uh, basically a rock structure that no shrimp is gonna get under, mess it up, crabs, fish, whatever it is. And not only that, you just have more of a safer aquascape than you do if you're just setting rocks on the glass with only, you know, maybe less than a quarter inch of uh, touching the tank, you know, which is really not good for glass. So anyways, here's 35 pounds of medium. <laughs> that was a cool one to make. Got these, there's a few more in there. Anyways, I thought that was cool guys. I'm going to get this order all wrapped up and set out for pickup. See ya. <laughs> I actually ended up getting it in. I only had to break this little piece off. Thought that was cool.